So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Football with Priscilla. I am Priscilla, obviously. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today is the day that we have all been waiting for, Twitter Wednesday. Yay! Twitter Wednesday! Twitter Wednesday! Wow! This would make sense if I had a soundboard, but anyway, that's the beside the point. So Twitter Wednesday is basically a day when I react to Twitter questions, sports questions, obviously. This can be questions that are posed by ESPN, Sport Bible, um, the Premier League, um, etc, etc, BBC Sports, etc, etc. So yeah, so I'll just be reacting to the questions that are posed on Twitter. Now before we get into the video for today, make sure you share, like and subscribe. Make sure you share, like and subscribe. Okay, so this is going to be a very short video. I'm just going to run through the questions. Unfortunately, I could only find Sport Bible questions. Well, most of them were Sport Bible questions. All these others, I mean, like, what's happening? After I start Twitter Wednesday, and then they decide to stop creating content for me. Who does that? I mean, but anyway, so the first one that we're going to react to is under Sport Bible. And the question is, who is the greatest midfielder here? Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, Miller, Iniesta, Zidane scores Pirlo Modric okay so now for me I know a lot of people hype Zidane personally I've never seen Zidane play neither have I seen uh, Pirlo play so I don't I can't say that these for me personally are good I've never watched them play even if I watch compilations I'm not amused um I've watched scores play I've watched um who else play Frank Lampard play and of me, the three that stand out are obviously Iniesta, Xavi and Modric. You would be crazy to ne to not put them amongst the greatest midfielders this year, right? We have seen Luka Modric over the years just display what is an amazing talent. We saw Xavi and Iniesta at Barcelona, which was a team that was practically unstoppable. So um, amongst these three, obviously, because obviously these three cancel out scores Gerard and Lampard, like... Is it even a question but among us these three i think i'm gonna go for iniesta i've always favored iniesta to these three i just think he was a different kind of class of player um i liked how he carried the ball i liked his vision and i also like the fact that he was involved in most of the goals um i just like iniesta like his style of play for me i think i enjoyed more i feel like he was more versatile not that i'm saying these other two are not versatile but for me i would always obviously just go for iniesta i still remember the goal he scored i don't know if that was a euro or that was the world cup which uh won spain the cup i don't know if it's the world cup 2010 i'm not sure but yeah so for me i pick iniesta the other question is under Sport Bible again, I know. Um, it says they don't have to be the best player. They don't have to be the greatest player. Who is your favorite player? Who is my favorite player? So now I've been a Manchester United fan all my life, ever since I was like 10 years old. And I really started understanding football like when I was like 13. But like throughout that whole time, I until now, I have always been obsessed with one player. Guess who? I'll give you guys three seconds. Guess the Manchester United player that I have been obsessed with. Okay, now like I have I have I've watched Vanusro play, I've watched um the Rooney era, I've watched um Cristiano Ronaldo, I've watched Berbatov, I've watched um in the midfield, um who was playing in Manchester United midfield, I've watched Paul Scores play. I've watched Nani play. I've watched a lot of Manchester United come and go. Um, but for me, I've watched Rio and Vidic, which was our war. But for me, my all-time favorite player is Wayne Rooney. Ladies and gentlemen, no one beats Wayne Rooney. For me, he's my all-time favorite player. I remember when I was young, my parents bought me like a Manchester United football kit, right? And then the t the, the shirt was written Wayne Rooney and the shorts. So like whenever I went outside to go play football or whatnot when I was young, I'll always wear my Rooney jersey and the whole Manchester United kit. Like I was that obsessed. So yeah. So Wayne Rooney is and will forever be my all talk my all-time favorite player. Um the other question we're going to look at is under sport Bible. This is Pick one between Mbappe and Rashford. Now, in a lot of videos, I've been saying Mbappe who? Or because I think Rashi right now, um, apologies, my dogs are barking. Or I think is because uh, I think Rashford right now has been in form. Like, I don't know what's happening. Like, the goal he scored on the weekend was a striker S goal. Right now, he keeps on finding himself in the right position, a position where a striker should find himself. And I am being, I am very impressed. A long time ago, what used to make Mbappe, I think, uh, 
more than Rashford was the fact that Mbappe was playing goal and goal, Rashi was not. Now Rashi is catching up to Mbappe and he's actually Rashford is actually being clinical in goal and actually finding himself in the right striker position. I, I remember saying um when I saw Rashford go, I was saying uh this looks this has a Benny McCarthy touch to it because it was a proper proper striker's goal. So obviously between Mbappe and Rashford based on form right now, I'm picking Rashford all day, every day. The last question we're going to um we're going to react to this is under United District. Um I just found it on Twitter. Um so this is under United District and they were asking what is the best front three? Um Sancho, Rashford, Verkhorst, Anthony, Ganacho, and Martial. Now, for me, I don't rate Martial. I don't know why people talk about Tony Martial. I don't see it. I've never seen it. So we cancel Tony Martial out. Anthony, for me, I've, I've said it in most of my videos. He's not doing what I want him to do. He's good at, like, during the weekend, I saw him run at a player once. And he managed to get past that player and at least cross the ball. This is what we want from Anthony. But for some reason, I don't know, he's shying away from running at defenders. But I feel like an Anthony who's not afraid to run at defenders will be an absolute beast. Now, with his pace, his trickery, and his um skills, I think he's going to be an absolute nightmare for defenders to contend with. Okay, so the next person that we're going to look at is Virgos. Personally, for me, I don't... Another player that I don't rate. I just don't understand. What is Virgos' job at Manchester United? We're not playing to his advantage, which is his height. He doesn't score headers. So what, what, what? What is he bringing to Manchester United? I will say this. Virgos is good at linking up play. Other than that, I don't see him in the striking position. It's either Manchester United are not creating chances for him or he's not found. He's not finding himself in the right striking positions because at this point, he slows up play, I feel like. He's not as fast and he loses the ball quickly and he's getting on my nerves little by little. So I cancel out Virgos. We have Rashi who's in form. Obviously, I'm putting him there. And then we have Garnacho who obviously when he comes in the game, you could see that he can change the game most of the times with his pace and his directness. So I feel like Garnacho gets in there somewhere. So it's obviously Rashi. Garnacho, I feel like he's been an absolute um, gem of a player for Manchester United. Maybe he needs to learn a few things seeing that he's young and with maturity, I think he'll just be a great player. But um, Garnacho right now has been changing the game for Manchester United. So I think I'll throw Garnacho there. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, that leaves us with Sancho. Now, Sancho obviously only came back um just a while back and so it's going to be very hard for me to like say sancho should go in because he's only played one game and the one game he's played have just been a few minutes so i don't know if we can add sancho in there but like the cameos we used to see of sancho also he's more like anthony but i feel like sancho is a bit more direct um a lot of people have been saying that he suits the number 10 role i don't see it i feel like just leave him on the wings okay leave him on the wings and he'll figure himself out He's a professional footballer, okay? So, um, I can't say so much about Ante, about Sancho, sorry. Um, but for me right now, the ones that get into my front three, um, I think we'll have to go with San... No. I think we'll have to go with Rashford, Garnacho, and Anthony only because Anthony has proved himself, regardless of the fact that I hate the fact that he does not run at defenders, but at least he his work rate is amazing off the ball. Um, he manages to come back to help Aaron Wan Bissaka, which can't be said so much about Rashford. Like Rashford's defensive defensive play is horrible. So yeah, so my yeah. So that's all I had for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed me reacting to Twitter questions. Um. Yeah, Twitter is not all horrible, ladies and gentlemen. I know. People want it to be toxic. Yeah. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe.